What's up, everybody? So today I thought I would do something interesting because I have uh, I, I was in a game with Fusion Boy. I didn't know who Fusion Boy was until like a few days ago when I got a lobby with him and this dude was destroying the server. Um, so I thought I would do an interesting video and break down some of his gameplay uh, in his 560 to 570 montage. Um, and I'll leave links down in the description to his channel, but there, there's something in the very beginning of this, which is super fascinating to me, which is not this run right here, right? Um, but it's like, it's like people, okay. What you don't realize is how fast he is at making quick decisions. Okay, like right there, like going, going behind the wall here to reload after getting this kill because he sees two more going behind the wall instead of shooting that guy see most people would focus on that first guy but he realizes that that guy's not aiming at him he's not an immediate threat and goes for the other guy right and he makes that decision like watch how fast he makes that decision like okay knee reload behind the wall not going to get that guy going to flick over to that guy then go back to that guy like that's an insane and he actually did it also in the first clip if you watch the first clip too uh, right here, he wa he goes, look, so he was originally going to go for that guy on the ground there, right? And most people would, most people would go for this guy right here, right here. Look, he's going to aim for this guy right here, but he sees this guy out of the corner and knows that this guy's going to be an immediate threat and watch what he does. He chooses to go for that guy and take care of the immediate threat and then come back to this guy. And the fact that he can do that so fast, make those decisions so quick, is what makes him really an incredible player. See, just the him him switching like that, that's incredible. I just can't the the, the way how fast he processes what he needs to do is insane. Like I'm not gonna go for that guy, he's not an immediate threat. And you'll see him do this over and over and over again. Hold on, let's see if he does it again. Like, let's see, did he do it there? I don't think he did it there. But it's like, as soon as he realizes that somebody ha can kill him, he goes and he focuses on that person, even if he has an easier kill somewhere else. This is just incredible with this gun. All right, all right. Hey, actually, is this the map map match I'm in? I think that's me. I could be wrong. I couldn't get a kill. I was on his team. No, I wasn't on his team. Am I in this match? I don't know. I'm in one of these matches. Maybe maybe it's not a match that he actually recorded though or put on YouTube. Dude, but it's just his ability to make split minute or split second decisions on like who to aim for and why is is really insane also he knows the spawns too which is actually something that's really cool so if you want to get better if you're already a good player and it's like you want to get even better watching fusion boy and watch him like how he goes to the spawn points like look he's going and then he's going to immediately push the spawn on the beach because that's where he's going to assume that they're spawning see he knows that they're spawning there. So knowing the spawn points and he, he does an even better uh, example of it on Sandtown. If you watch him on Sandtown, uh, it's really incredible. Uh, this is just him rocketing people. Let's see. And his, I mean, his aim is insane. His aim is actually insane. Uh, yeah. See, but he knows he, he, their spawn points. See, watch, he's going to annihilate them, turn immediately to the beach side where they're spawning and get them there. And so like watching him, knowing how he rushes their spawn points is uh, a really useful tool, especially on Villa. If you ever get to watch him on Villa, uh, if you get in a game with Fusion Boy, man, it, it's worth recording it just to kind of and now like uh, look at what he did, you know? Because uh, he, he's he's something else, man. Like even uh, my last game, my last video I uploaded, or no, 
I guess it won't be. It's the last video I recorded, not the last video I uploaded, but um, I, I do something that I learned from Fusion Boy where he, he was with concussions. Look at him rushing that spawn point. Look, look at that. Look at him rushing that spawn point. Hold on. So look, he's getting the kills. He's getting the kills. And look at that rush on that spawn point right there. That That's what makes him an incredible player. It's not just does he have incredible aim. Oh, oh. And he, he, not just does he have incredible aim, but he his ability to, to push the spawn points and land his shots while doing so is is really incredible his movement around the map is amazing um and i it's like it's like i i didn't think i didn't know i guess killing people with this fast was even possible until i ran into fusion boy um and i've been trying i've been trying like i've been trying to move and kill people a lot faster than i have before in the past um and you'll see that in probably my upcoming gameplays uh, that will be out like this next week like you'll see me moving through people a lot faster uh pushing their spawn points and stuff but uh, i'm nowhere i'm nowhere on on um on his level i'm nowhere on fusion boys level in fact here let me show you guys some gameplay footage of uh me and fusion really quick um Let's just do this, man. We're just going to break it everything down in this video, man. Oh, do, 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 do. I don't know where I put his gameplay footage. Hold on. Let's see. I think I put it in Roblox. Edited. Needs to be edit. Uh, all right. Fusion Boy Part 1. All right. Yeah. Okay. So th th this is something I learned from Fusion, right? And concut. I didn't know one. I didn't know that this was concussion, right? And so when he was, uh, what he does is, uh, he he stays on the trees and he only stays on the buildings. He stays on typically the highest points possible during the match, and uh, that's really something that's really incredible uh and anyway so i basically kind of replicated i killed him there <laughs> um but i basically replicated him in concussion um in my last match and it worked really well so kind of just watching him his gameplay and stuff this is part two of me playing with fusion uh let's see and you'll just see him uh he's on the other team I'm missing a, whole, a lot of my shots. Uh, this is like right when I changed my FOV. Uh, <laughs> it's like I changed my FOV, so all my shots are off, and I get in the game with fusion. It was, it was great. <laughs> um, so I can't kill him, and he grabs the health. I mean, he's just uh, uh, no, nope. still, still didn't get the the kill on him. But uh, it's just the way that he pushes the spawn points. Shockwave's also a really good player too. Um, but yeah, I mean, he just runs through us and he lands his headshots like insane. Uh, someone got him there. He still wins by like a landslide here. Like, and it, 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 Fusion Boy's one of those players that it's like, if you don't land your first shot on him, uh, you're dead. Like, I mean, uh, he, you don't get a second chance with Fusion Boy. Maybe if he has the bow. Oh, there we go. I killed Fusion Boy there. Um, but uh, y you can tell, like, I mean, like, there's because I don't know the spawn points as well as he does. Right. And then he gets us all like cluttered up in a group. Right. It's like I can't even compete with him. Not in a free for all. Uh, it would be interesting to play him 1v1. I don't know how that would go. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, hi him as a uh, him as a free for all player is insane, and that's also one of the reasons he plays on 120. I actually tried 120 after playing against him. All right, is he still in here? No, see, he left. But anyway, so that was like I I actually played a couple games that I didn't record with him too. Uh, but uh, that was that was my encounter with Fusion Boy. He's an incredible player, but his ability to analyze. 
uh, the danger around him is what makes him like the best player probably out there right now in terms of free for all, like him being able to assess that that guy's not a threat. This guy is and flick that really quickly and go back to that guy and get the kill. It's just like mind boggling how fast that actually is, how fast that takes place and like, how fast he's able to lock on and land his shots. Like if you played in, if you play these clips in slow motion, it's just like, all right, we'll play at half speed. So you guys can see headshot or aim, aiming at his head, aiming at his head. Decides not to go for that guy. Decides to go for these guys because those guys are immediate threats. And then goes back to that guy. It's just like, what? It's insane. And I feel like that's, that's one of the things that I need practice on because I get so focused on one person that before switching and he just doesn't he just he knows like i would just nail that guy and i would get killed by this guy but no he flicks over and takes care of the immediate threat so anyways uh that's going to be it for this video make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and make sure you guys go check out fusion boy if you haven't already i'll leave it'll be the first link in the description below uh because the guys uh like the next level in my opinion. So anyways, that's it for this video. Peace.